light you're seeing is the probe's way of delivering information back to its source. Augur and I have designed a system to capture the images being transmitted. By what method? There are microscopic cameras mounted into the ends of these cables, which have been calibrated to read the images being emitted. Is this safe here? I mean, this thing was on its way to wiping out an entire town. The only way to stop the killing was to bring it here and study it. My associate is an expert in this field. This is Reina Amitraj. Reina? Hi, Will Boone. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I haven't seen too many of those in lab. I find that it calms me. <laughs> Jonathan's told me all about, well, he's told me all about both of you. We're very fortunate to have you working here with us. We were about to... Uh, oh, can you explain how we're limiting the risk factor involved in the drilling? Of course. We're not violating the integrity of the crystallized cap. The holes we're drilling are less than three thousandths of a millimeter in diameter. Hmm. Sounds like you had quite an adventure with our friend here. You could say that. So you were investigating some unexplained deaths in an Amish community? In a healthy body, the scan will appear all black, no color variations. Yeah, we found the culprit. It's extraordinary that this device was able to ingest a single butterfly and replicate it thousands of times into little killer probes. It's remarkably advanced technology. It is remarkably deadly technology. They're expecting us in the conference area. Yeah. I'll be talking with you. Nice to meet you. Rain is an impressive woman. Thanks. And... Beautiful, too. We met at the Sorbonne when I was studying there last year. Huh? Sorbonne, huh? Students in Paris? Doesn't get much better than that. She was on an exchange program for the summer. We had to wait a year to be together. She just got here a week ago. You're not wasting any time, are you? You know when something's right. Yeah, I think you do, Sashi. altering the future of humanity. Images we've pulled from the device, we believe it is an advanced probe sent here by the Talons to assess our planet. Assess. Nice word. So it may have been lying dormant here for years. Let's see what you got. We'll start with the photographic images first. These are from the probe's activities in the Amish town. Can you determine if these images have been transmitted to the Talons? Well, we haven't been able to verify that yet. If the Talons received these images, then they know we're lying about the events that took place in the Amish town. These next images represent the internal operations of the probe. These renderings in text illustrate the procedure the probe used to capture the butterfly and replicate it. So we need to understand the text to find out the purpose of the probe and to find out what information it's already delivered to the Talons. What do you think? Look at this symbol and this. 
It looks to me like a language. I know it sounds crazy, but the closest thing they resemble is the Talon's own script. Only simpler. But nobody in the world understands their language. The world is inside the mind they gave you. Don would like to meet with us. <laughs> Do you ever knock? As a matter of fact, no. Don is hosting the unveiling of the Talon Museum of Art and wants us to coordinate all aspects of the event. Fine, just let me finish up here. What are you doing? I'm studying the Talon language. This is the painting that James Pike did in his cell. You remember Pike. Yes. Pike died before we had a chance to question him on this painting. The fact that the companions implanted him with a CVI changes nothing for me. This work still looks like the work of a psychotic serial killer. Is there a problem? Oh, of course not. Why haven't you ever learned to read Taylor? Don never requested that I do so, although I did make a cursory attempt when I was first implanted. What happened? Um, didn't go very well. Are you making progress? Yeah, it's going well. Right here. This group of characters has a distinct look. Boons were making some progress in the Talon language. These are Talon equivalent for numbers. Mm -hmm. We've run thousands of different permutations on these equations. We may have found something. There. I didn't know better. I'd swear those are directional coordinates. No, no, I had the same theory. I'm constructing a model based on these coordinates to determine where the probe is sending its data. We believe the probe's home is somewhere in that star system. I need to know the exact location. This information is vital to us. Keep working. The Talon Synod is most proud to have your work featured at the opening of our gallery. Ah, please view the work of this most gifted artist, Tiana. Its stillness is very moving. Thank you. I greatly anticipate the public's reaction to your art. With this kind of inspired work, the opening of the gallery promises to be a momentous occasion. I've reviewed the security plan. It's in order. And the media plan. There is always great interest when you make an appearance to on. This event is no exception. Our coverage will be extensive. I, I have a request. Please state it. Will you teach me to read Talon? How would the knowledge of the Talon language help you to serve the companions? All implants have the same motivational imperative to serve the companions. But we all bring our own individual approach as to how best to implement that imperative. We have had this discussion. I would offer that a command of the Talon language can only aid in my effectiveness. I don't expect all implants to have the desire or the capability to learn Talon. This would be a highly difficult task. Difficult, but not impossible. As you remember, one of your initial experimental implants, James Pike, learned your language without the benefit of any Talon tutoring. I will take your request into consideration. Thank you. Have you seen Reyna? No. She padding her hours again? I can't find her. Can't imagine why she wants to get out of here. My implant, William Boone, has expressed his desire to learn the Talon language. I have not yet had to respond to such a request. Aral implanted one of the native peoples of Australia when he was posted as the Australian companion. 
This aborigine wished to record the tale on history on Earth in our native language, but he was not able to master Talon. One of our experimental implants was partially successful in learning Talon. The Synod has observed that the CVI's motivational imperative seems to eliminate an implant's justification for learning our language. We do not fully understand why this is. Yet, Boone makes this request. I have no explanation. William Boone has presented the Synod with a multitude of unique challenges since his implantation. Many of his reflections have caused serious debate within the Synod. I believe we have much to gain from observing Boone's attempt to learn the Talon language. Then we shall observe with great attention. extraordinary how you have been able to teach yourself the rudiments of the Talon language. This is the first story that we learn. Mali. Mal Mal Mali. 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 La That is correct. Om 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 Ruvala. La Kilui Mali, Vilui Shava. You must avoid the inclination to read in a linear left to right manner. Are there grammatical rules for Talon like there are in Earth languages? No, we feel what we read. This feeling allows us to see and understand the words. Use your implant, Boon. Lasha, Vilui, Sholowa, Mali, Vilui, Sholowa. <laughs> you are amused by this story. Yes. Uh, our planets are millions of light years apart in distance, but not in spirit. Please elaborate. You are familiar with our Earth animals, the tortoise and the hare? Well, in one of our fables, there's a race between the two. The speedy hare gets so far out in front of the lumbering tortoise that the hare decides to take a nap, anticipating victory. And the slow and steady tortoise overtakes the sleeping hare and wins the race. But just as the dependable Mali defeats the gifted but less disciplined Lasha. <laughs> yes. Wei oui, Wei oui, Yami. We've extrapolated this path for the probe. So you've projected the probe's point of origin to be in a nebula at the other end of the galaxy from Talon. I know it seems inconsistent, but it's just a preliminary projection. Has Boone confirmed your interpretation of the figures? Lily and I confirmed it. Fine. And do you and Lily have a theory as to why these transmissions can't be traced back to the Talon planet? Several, actually. The probe may have been launched from a space station or an outpost located on another planet. Really? The figures may be deliberately inaccurate in an attempt to misdirect anyone trying to trace the origin of the probe. You know, you haven't presented the most likely explanation. <laughs> and what would that be? That your calculations are wrong. We can talk to the probe. All of its information is stored in a beam of light known as a neutrino pulse. This light is within the outer reaches of our known light spectrum. Yeah, but it's a huge leap from being able to copy the probe's light source to being able to communicate with it. 
I was able to calibrate our equipment to receive the images from this light. Augur's translation program deciphered those images so we could read them. To communicate with the probe, all we have to do is reverse the process. Yeah, sure. All we have to do is translate a message into a language we barely understand, shoot a beam of light into a piece of hardware we can't even touch, and wait for it to reveal its deepest, darkest secrets. Wonderful. You understand my theory exactly. When can we test it? You're unbelievable. All right, let's go. Reina! Hi. This be, uh, this be great to be able to work with your fiancé. Yes, it is. Um, how did this happen? I don't know. We believe that this is the operational directive for the probe. These characters are similar to the Talon that I've been studying, but it's as if these were written in a different dialect. But can you read it? Yeah, I can certainly make out the characters, but the feeling is off. What do you mean, feeling? Reading Talon is not just uh, visual, it's experiential. To completely understand what it is that you're reading, you have to feel the spirit of the words. Uh, my CVI, my implant, allows me to do that. The probe's operational directive includes a mandate to seek certain life forms and study them. Right. Exactly what we expected. They sent this probe out as an advanced scout. Study life forms with a minimum energy level reading of... And it, and it looks like some sort of a minimum electrical impulse level. Define tolerances of the various life forms under basically a multitude of life threatening conditions. In a healthy body, the scan will appear all black, no color variations. Do we know where the probe's responses are? I've made certain assumptions. No. See, this correlates with these characters up here. <laughs> Use aggression only when threatened. So if we don't get in his way, it won't harm us. Unless we get in the way of its seek and study mandate, which appears to be its prime objective. Yeah, that's right. But this thing is far too complex for us to assume anything. What I still don't understand is why the Talons haven't recovered this yet. I mean, if it's lost, why haven't Sandoval and I been involved in locating it? Why do you continue to ascribe human motivations and logic to these creatures? It'll be your undoing. I've spent more time with the Talons than anyone here. Right. And you assume your time with Da'an and your CVI are assets in understanding their agenda. Well, you're wrong. I have a piece of them in my head. I can speak to their motivations better than anyone here in this movement. Don't forget that. I won't. But that means you're more like them, not more understanding of them. It clouds your judgment. It doesn't clarify it. Raina, what are you doing? Raina! No! Within two feet of her, right? She's touching the palladium electrode. A human body shouldn't have been able to withstand that current for even a second. If there was a human body... Where's Lily? Lily! Get out of here! And at approximately 1545, the U.S. Satellite Tracking Agency detected a brief, unidentified transmission. 
They are asking for our assistance. What was the nature of the transmission? They couldn't identify it. Apparently, their instruments are not calibrated to track this frequency. What do they seek from us? Confirmation that this did not come from the Talons. What would cause such speculation? Although they weren't specific, they did indicate that some elements of the transmission seemed alien. You can confirm that this is not of Talon origin. Is this the first occurrence? They picked up a similar transmission about three months ago. They weren't able to identify that one either, but since there were no recurrences, we weren't contacted. We must personally assist in this matter. It is a top priority. Their instruments have given them only a rough location of the origin point, somewhere in the central part of the country. Do you know Boone's whereabouts? His schedule indicates that he is making final preparations for the gallery opening. Enlist Boone's aid. I will join you shortly. An unidentified transmission originating on Earth has been detected by Earth monitors. I will alert the Synod immediately. Detail your actions. My implants are investigating. We are told that this is not the first such occurrence. The implications are extreme. We must thoroughly understand the extent of this transmission. You will join your implants. Stay with him. Yeah, go. An unidentified transmission has been traced to your jurisdiction. We have a general location only. Coordinates to follow. Proceed to those coordinates immediately. I'll organize a search team and join you with the on. Will do. Siji, I hate to do this, but I need your help. What do you need? Is there a way to break through this energy shield or whatever the hell this thing is? Well, you did use the laser to cut through the crystallized material on the top of the probe, yes? Maybe our industrial lasers can penetrate the energy web. Let's do it. Follow me. We have narrowed the range of the transmission's origin, Don. Ensure that the search team will be ready. It appears that the transmission originated from a point a few hundred meters below ground. Do you know what we're searching for? I believe it to be a probe. Its investigative function could have led it to seek data from beneath the Earth's surface. Organize a Class 4 search team and meet me at Boo's office immediately. Right here. Hook up the main power cable last. These are the spectral readings from the transmission. These are the readings from the previous transmission. These readings were certainly generated by the same source. Yes. Do you recognize these images? I believe so. Will we be carrying this device with us on our search? Yes. I will require it when we have located the source of the transmission. I can be more effective if I'm fully informed, Don. I understand. Yes. We've narrowed the range of the transmission source. I'm transferring the information now. We'll find a source shortly. I am afraid you are correct. Come on. Done. 
initiate the main power supply. On. Is that going to shatter the glass? No, it's a zinc selenium compound. The laser should pass right through it. What are you waiting for? It'll take 10 seconds to charge. Go, oh, do it. Do it. Take the shot. Do it, Sushi. It's not Reina. Take it. Take the shot. It's a replicant. Hold this. Hit all these buttons one at a time, starting with the blue one. All right. Spectral bands now. One more transmission and we'll complete the triangulation. We're on our way. I'm continuing to survey based on the last set of coordinates you sent. There's nothing down here. I recommend you hold your present position until I locate the source of the transmission. No, we don't have that luxury. Something's down there. And when we find it, Don needs every second. What's the matter with you? You look like... Nothing. I'll wait for your signal. We've got to get the probe back to the Talons. At least they can control it. Now, if the probe sends out one more transmission, the Talons will be able to pinpoint their exact location. All right, before it does get it out of here. Well, you guys said you could talk to the probe. Are you ready? We will be. You just figure out what you want to say. All right. Scientists. How about get the hell out of here? Wait here. Ventilate the lab. We need to see in there. We've really got to work on the following orders thing. Let's do that. Any ideas? Well, there's no way it could have got by without us seeing it. it. It looks like it can now transform its shape. We're just learning what it can do. But I agree with you. It seems unlikely it would just disappear. What if it's in the tunnels? It'll show up on the security monitors. We still need to get that probe communicator up and running. He's right. Sandoval and Don. Jonathan, what are you doing? I can't risk detection of our headquarters. It'd be a death blow to the movement. No, you're jumping the gun. This is mine, Captain. If Sandoval gets within 200 feet of here, I'll destroy it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't go anywhere near it. He's dead. Crystallized. Just like with the butterflies. This is the probe. It's in the ventilation system. All non-essential personnel evacuate now! Gotta get him out of here. Did you receive the coordinates? Yes, what's your ETA? It is imminent. Is it working? Guys, can we or can we not communicate with the probe even though it's changed its configuration? I don't know. Our communicator was designed to send a focused beam of light into the top of the probe, the same way the probe communicates, but now that it's completely changed its form... Great. I... Boom, boom. Is it possible to flood the entire facility with light, like a broadcast? It'll take me a minute to make that adjustment. Yes. The probes infiltrated the control system. Jeez. Composed a message. Okay, we need to keep this as simple as possible. Communicate with words we know the probe will recognize for sure. 
Okay, this data is from the probe. Anything you can use here? These are basic commands for a research probe. Seek, analyze, examine, followed by chemical compounds found on Earth. Boone, Boone, we have to order the probe out of here. Come on. Fine. This is the word for seek, and here's study. Seek and study what? Wait, wait, wait. It studied our power generator. It can recognize the elements utilized in a cold fusion process. Great. Try deuterium. It's an isotope of hydrogen used to instigate a cold fusion reaction. Hold on, let me understand this. We tell the probe to seek out this isotope. The probe reassembles itself. Then we put the deuterium outside of our little home here in hope it follows. Right. I like it. Only one problem. Who's going to extract the deuterium from the reactor? I am. I started my career as an engineer in a nuclear power plant. Okay, but we don't have the luxury to wait for you to extract the deuterium before we start to communicate with the probe. Sandoval's too close. Well, I guess I better get going. Begin your love letter. What's the chemical formula for deuterium? 2H. Seek. Shakruvi. Study. Vaharushi. Transmit data. Vaharuvi. Simple, yet direct. Yeah. It's getting close. What is the purpose of these structures? They are utility tunnels built to service a variety of city functions. They go on for several kilometers. Hazardous is this material? Let's just say it's extremely volatile. Now, don't even breathe. This stuff could kill us in a heartbeat. Activate the emergency generator. Is the message loaded? Ready. Maybe you should try. Shh. Do it again. Again. you leave now. Are you able to maintain this pace? Time is of the essence, Agent Sandoval. I understand. Control it. Agent Sandoval, please.
Are you all right? May I help you? Thank you, Agent Sandoval. I will recover. Am I correct in my assumption that it would be superfluous to advise that we handle with care? You can't cut it much closer than that, can you? This facility is not yours, Jonathan. It belongs to all of us. In my world, you buy it, you own it. Yeah, well, this isn't your world anymore. We're not in your boardroom. <laughs> it's funny, Lily, you usually quote military procedures, but on a battlefield, there is only one leader. The chain of command is absolute. And you are not our commander. We're supposed to be answerable to each other. The decision to destroy this facility is not your decision to make alone. Who's gonna stop me, Captain? You? Can I interrupt? You're not interrupting. Immersing myself in my work was the only thing that kept me going after my wife died. For me, it's not important to stay busy. I have a problem that you didn't have. What do you mean? This was the butterflies actual DNA sequencing which was entered into the probe's computer when the butterfly was first ingested. Mm -hmm. This is the DNA sequence which was mapped onto the manufactured butterflies. Hmm. Most of the sequence was unaltered. Just a few key strands were changed. Right. The probe altered the DNA sequence of the duplicated organisms, but only to the extent required to fulfill the purpose of the probe. When the probe recreated Reyna, it required protection. And that's why the duplicates were so vicious. But the core essence wasn't changed. The same is true of Reyna. Are, are you suggesting that Reyna's unaltered DNA sequence could be mapped and, and duplicated by Pro? Everyone has one true love in their life. You, you understand that? Yeah, I do. But I also understand the need to move on. Raina's physical form may have been vanquished, but everything that defines who she is is locked inside of that probe. We're not talking about cloning Raina. That probe can't manufacture flesh and bone. Raina and I never had an opportunity to be together. Even if we could extract Raina's unaltered DNA, all we could do is map it onto a manufactured body. What would you do if you had the opportunity to be together with your wife again, even in this form we're talking about? I believe you'd rip that probe open with your bare hands. 